Hello and welcome there, everybody. This is Teva DRC. I'm your friend. I have to watch out for what I say because I have to live it too. And I'm just talking about Demas. Everybody's had a Demas side to them. And let's just talk about it because we're talking to the Christian ministry and the people who, you know, say they follow the Lord and nobody's perfect. It's really an, in, it's a really a, an attention grabber because I'm about to teach on our view, cross body unity, in my view, of the prosperity movement and Christian faith and Christian faith for funding finances and family and fun. So this is not going to be the place I do it. It's not long enough, but I can at least stir it up to think about it because we're about the Lord, not making a famous name. We're not about bashing famous people or movements. I will not do that. Because I go way back before all this happened and I see what went on, you know, what has gone on, still goes on, and then media. We're pro the humans, but we're going to talk about Demas because it is important. You know, if we have some needs, people really have literal needs. Now, if you're just sitting in there in your ivory tower, never had a bad day, you've got all the things you've ever wanted, all your children are taken care of, and you feel you're just all set, then you are in the minority. And you're naive and also probably haughty <laughs> in the club. So we're teaching balance and respect. But we will teach on our views over here, submit them as Selah's, about money and faith for having income and giving. We're going to teach, but not now, because it's a giant topic. <laughs> we know that. <laughs> so let's talk about Demas. So Demas was one of the gifted and talented persons of integrity a real he to have be on Paul's and he's mentioned not just in 2 Timothy 4:10 that he left that Demas left Paul and he and a couple of others went their way and left the ministry and so Demas it says Paul said in 2 Timothy 4 he said Demas has left the ministry well in history Demas went to Thessalonica, which was a seaport, and then the other two went to Croatia. That's where Dalmatia is. I have some relatives over there and know some people over here from there. And we have the, um, then we have the other one would be Galatia, which is the third one. So he had some people that sort of left, and Demas really got to Paul because he left him in the lurch. He ghosted Paul when Paul was suffering in prison. So that sounds like people, you know, relationship issues. So a Demas affects relationship. It has something to do with stuff and things and themselves. And there's nobody, including this person, who has not had a Demas. <laughs> you know, we can all get a, off in the love of other things. What is, What does it say that Paul mentioned about Demas, he said he loved the things of this world more. That is the test under pressure, under failure, under temptation. It is whether the pressure of life, the pressure of good, you know, the world, flesh, and the devil tempts us to get off in our call, the wrong priorities. Now, I can teach balance on stuff because it's a long topic, too long for this little 10 minutes, you know, but it's really my goal for, for training and how I live is godly with, godliness with contentment is great gain, which is also Paul. Paul in 1 Timothy 6.6, 6, that is a credo. So that is a heart condition, a conscience stuff. The other part in teaching prosperity far and wide, look at the world, the biggest and the smallest, with God about to shake, and he is shaking, he doesn't want anyone to die young or anything, you know, perish or hurt. People have a part to play, belief and non-belief. People are, you know, the enemy, the devil and everything, people and people. So we teach giant, but we're going to focus on purity of heart, not being materialistic, but having a clear conscience before God. Bottom line, and I could go on and on, the bottom line is between you and God, whatever he tells you to have, to own, to not own. Just don't look at everybody else and compete, keeping up with the Joneses, 
FOMO, fear of missing out. That's the world in the church or anybody else. So keep your godly contentment. Keep your MYOB leader. Mind your own business. Train the people. Train the kids. Train yourself. Train me not to get dysfunctional. I think it's funny if you read that because I teach a lot on the from such turn away dysfunctional type of, you know, type of people groups. And so if you look at what is in chapter three that comes before Demas in chapter four, it's setting the stage, a giant chapter, which talks about the lovers of themselves that won't go for the, you know, that's the can be in the church as as well, people groups. And then the cure for that is the other end of 2 Timothy 3, my teaching verse for this ministry since the 80s. It is 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 7. The Bible's word is profitable for teaching correction, for doctrine, for instruction, so that the person of God, the human, will be thoroughly furnished. That means faith involved in the Bible. Not putting that as only, you know, some materialistic money maker opportunity. No, no, no. We've seen it. We, we're not doing that. We're the lowest <laughs> rung of, you know, trying to really bring it down, you know, bring it a new thought, new perspective. So let's talk about Demas. Demas was to be on Paul's team. He was called, he was sent, and he was restless after a while. Something was in his heart that really, you know, disappointed Paul, but he got disappointed and just turned off by the ministry or just bored, uh, embarrassed that Paul was not famous. He wasn't, you know, popular. And he was, you know, because back then they weren't famous to anybody. They were the ragamuffins, a lot of it. Paul wrote about himself. He was the off-scouring of the world apostle, the dung of the world. So the Christians weren't hip. Now, some were and some weren't, but I'm telling you, it wasn't this big fame. We've arrived. Let's make our video. Let's get awards. No, but that's now, so we think of it like that. So Paul said, you know, so to look at the character of the young man, Demas, he was wanted. He was talented. He was spiritually mature to be invited, and he got tested to see who he's going to serve along the way. In the endurance, in the process, the process of overcoming, of getting along, of looking past the things of today that were only passing through to eternity. I would say a trait of a Demas that I notice, I watch when I, you know, when this guy's put this on my heart, it's a, the worst case, I'm not saying Demas was or he wasn't, but he left Paul and left him, you know, high and dry. So the Demas, if you want to start looking around the, for the fruit, it would be Psalm 144, the strange children, chapter two different verses, say the same thing, uh, Psalm 144, beware the strange children, and it says they have mouths that speak vanity, and they have the right hand of falsehood. What does that mean? The, the mouths that speak vanity means they're teaching things like gossiping about things, they're training on things and using pet Bible teaching on things that are not eternal in the core doctrine. Their vanity, they're passing through shallow. There is a heaven to gain. There is a you know where that's black and dark and no media, no fun forever, hot to to get to lose. You want to lo not lose heaven for that. So if they don't mention that it's the boy, the club. It's about shallow, do what you want to do. They don't have anything about a holy fear of the Lord. That's another thing, no holy fear of the Lord. It's very materialistic. It's very us, our position, our for, so forth. All right, the right hand of vanity is false authority. They'll do anything to keep their system going. They'll do anything to keep their money coming in. And that is the world in the church. It's mammon-centric. Hypocrisy, control, uh, territorialism, turf protecting, tyranny, hierarchy, worship. You can have hierarchy because you might need it. But I'm saying it's the, it's the class consciousness of the world in turf protecting or the class pettiness envy, rivalry, socially too much, self-centered, 2 Timothy 3, 1 through 5, 
1 Timothy 6, 5. More later. God